So when AMD launched their 5000 series Zen 3 architecture CPUs, uh, there was already a lot of conversation about how Intel has missed the gun and the 5000 series CPUs are finally here. We've been testing one of them for a while now and we're gonna be talking about how this most definitely will take over the CPU market, especially on the gaming side. So let's quickly get into our review. My name is Bharat Nagpal, you're watching iGyan. We're checking out the AMD Zen 3 5000 series CPUs. Now the announcement and the launch itself was uh, quite interesting for AMD. Uh, they're already on the seven nanometer process, uh, whereas Intel is struggling with their timelines and their deliveries of their processes, even though they're already quite ahead on their previous generation processes. But we're not gonna talk about Intel too much. We're talking about the AMD Ryzen Zen 3 5000 series CPUs, uh, quite a lot of names in there. So the one we're testing is uh, the Ryzen 7. This is the 5800X and uh, we've had it for a while. We popped it onto a test bench. Before we talk about uh, our benchmarks and our results, I want to talk about certain things that are relatively important if you're picking a new CPU. So there's quite a lot of improvements with the Zen 3 architecture on the Ryzen CPUs. Previously, they had split architecture where four cores were sharing 16 MB of cache, whereas the other four cores were sharing 16 MB of cache. Uh, this time around, they've changed that and they now have an integrated 32 MB of cache, which improves latency, or actually it reduces latency considerably. What is also changed is a higher increase in the IPC, so about 19% improvement in the IPC. So those are processes, 19% improvement without any uh, power improvement or power increase. So we are still getting a 105 TDP and those will reflect in the benchmark numbers as we will show you guys. But more importantly, what hasn't changed is the platform and it is still an AM4 socket and it is still compatible with a lot of AMD 400 and 500 series boards. So if you have one of those motherboards already, popping in a replacement CPU will be easier and you can switch to the newer generation one as long as you upgrade the BIOS. As as we found out in the most difficult way. It is relatively easy to upgrade with most uh, BIOS upgrade friendly boards, uh, but if you have an older generation BIOS based motherboard and you wanna buy the new generation CPU, I would recommend that you download the BIOS, install it before you start switching over to the newer Ryzen Zen 3 architecture based 5000 series CPUs. So let's get started with certain things. Let's talk about pricing. So here is the pricing for all the CPUs in the US as well as in India. Now these prices are before taxes. So if you are planning on buying these, make sure you add 18% GST for India for the Indian prices. Now these will be available online as well as offline and the prices will vary with respect to supply and that's how it happens in the PC market. So if there is less supply and more demand, you will see the prices shoot up relatively. But this is basically what the recommended retail price is for these CPUs. Now here are certain benchmarks that we ran with the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. So let's roll those.
in the benchmark results, you saw that uh, not only is it trading blows with the 10 900K, but it is also uh, sort of matching up with uh, the 3900X, which was the flagship from the Zen 2 architecture based Ryzen 3000 series. Uh, the 5000 series is really showing its performance in the benchmarks in Cinebench as well as in uh, Geekbench. You can see that the scores are considerably higher. So now we already know that AMD is pushing out their new GPUs as well. So the 6000 series GPUs are also headed uh, towards uh, the market and we will be testing those hopefully when they come out. But right now we did pop on a 3080 on our test bench and gaming uh, turned out to be really impressive as well, where we saw uh, that on average at 1080p games were easily pushing 200 FPS without any problem. Take a look at some of the gaming on the Ryzen 7 5800X. Now those were quite impressive as well. Again, it's trading blows uh, with the 10900K as well as uh, previous generation 3900X. But more importantly, what we can do with AMD Ryzen series CPUs is uh, we can install Ryzen Master. And on that there is a one click profile and you can jump between gaming or content creation. And then you can get uh, that performance update on whatever you're trying to do. So a bit of overclocking on the software side of things can be done with the Ryzen Master app. Very interesting performance upgrades, very interesting performance uplifts on uh, the 5000 series from AMD. We are of course very excited about uh, the 6000 series cards that are coming out that will trade blows with the 3070, 3080 and 3090 respectively. So we will be looking at those at a later date, hopefully. But if you're in the market for a CPU, the Ryzen 5000 series are definitely looking like the best promising CPUs, at least for the foreseeable future. And uh, pricing also seems to be very in line with the US pricing, which makes it good time to buy these CPUs uh, when they become available in the market. Now, if you guys have any follow-ups, we will be constantly doing some builds and uh, testing out the other CPUs in uh, the 5000 series as well. So if you have any particular requests, quests uh, with those drop those in the comment section below if you have a build coming up make sure uh, you let us know what you're building and uh, we'd like to see your builds as well if you haven't already make sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already a part of team i again this has been Bharat. i'll see you guys in the next one